What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys read the caption, you already know what's happening in this video, but if you haven't, I'll explain it to you. So in today's video, we are doing a Q&A because I feel like that's highly requested. I get a lot of questions all the time as I continue to grow and try new things in the gym and in my diet. Along with that, I'm gonna show you a juicy, juicy, juicy arm pump, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't shown an arm workout in quite some time. It's not gonna be like a complete shoulders, triceps, and bicep workout. It's gonna be mainly biceps and triceps, how to really grow it and get it looking girthy. So we're gonna do that. But let's go ahead and jump right into the Q&A. But before we start the Q&A, let me throw on a shirt because few discretion is advised. Now that we are ready to go, um, let's get it started, guys. But real quick before we start the Q&A. Some of these questions are you are about fitness and some of the other ones are personal and some of them are just silly. So I usually ignore the silly ones because they can be sometimes inappropriate, but I threw some of the good ones in here just for y'all's entertainment. So let's get started. So for the first question, guys, um, any good tips for building legs? Boom. Yes, I do say in order to build some good, thick, juicy legs, in order to build some good, thick, juicy legs, you need to be consistent with your leg days. And what I mean by that is you can't do legs once a month and you can't half-ass legs. So you've got to actually put the pressure on your legs and really, really work hard when it is leg day. You've got to treat your legs like your lower body, guys, because if you don't, they will lack like the body parts you don't pay attention to. So I see a lot of people, they'll be in the gym, they'll go crazy on upper body, and I'm like, dude, good stuff. But when it comes to leg day and I invite them to my workout, they're not really messing with my workout because I treat legs just like how I'll treat everything else as hard as possible, as hard as humanly possible. So that's how you build it, guys. Consistency and good workouts. So don't go and do like, don't shy away from the things that work. Do what works. You can literally search it up. But a quick workout, boom, right there, guys, for your legs, your quads, and your hammies. So that hopefully that answers question number one. Question number two. What is your one rep maxes on bench, squat, and deadlift? So if you guys do know much about me, um, you guys do know I'm not big on squat and I'm not very big on deadlift. I only do them once in a while. But as of currently right now, I'd say for bench, I can do maybe 350 currently for one time, fresh. So whenever I go and bench on my chest days, what I do is usually is uh, at least 12 reps of 135, 185 and 225, at least 12 reps of each of those. Then I'll go into 285, 315, etc. So by then I'm already pushing the muscles and things like that. But I think fresh, I can do 365 on bench. Squat, I, I know I can do about 500 pounds in squat. I did it when I was 17. And deadlift, I'm not sure. I've never really went crazy on deadlift. But let's say 450 to 500 currently, um, I know it's gonna go up. This question I answer probably 15 times a day. Because, like my other Q&As, people either think I'm super short or I'm super tall. So, here's the question that I know a lot of people ask. I don't know if y'all can see it correctly, but the question is your height. So guys, I've explained this once, but I'll explain it again because um, why not, you know? Uh, guys, so I am currently, and I'm probably not going to go high tall in this, but if I do, I'll let you know, I promise. I am 5'9 and a half. But if you're gonna go by the math rule, five, five or more raise a score, so I'm technically 5'10". But you gotta go by the rule, so 5'11". And I can even say six foot. By the dock, I am 5'9 and a half on a good day. Before we continue the questions, it is time to hit the gym. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna show you guys a juicy arm pump for your triceps and biceps. Let's get it going. And right after the gym, we're gonna continue on to the Q&A. Let's get it. All right guys, so we are now in the gym. Got the pump cover on, some good old shorts. We're gonna get it going. I'm gonna explain the workouts more in depth to show you guys, a to give you guys a further explanation of how I really um, work out on arm day and things like that. Let's get started into this pump. We're getting started. It's time to hit biceps and triceps, so I'm gonna show you guys that. First, we're gonna start with seated curls. So we're gonna get some, we're gonna, I usually do like three or four sets of these guys. I'm gonna start with the lighter weight and then just make my way up. Myself, 
We're moving up and waiting, guys. Like I said, squeeze at the top to get that better. <laughs> Let's see if this pump is worthy enough. We are going up in weight. So guys, like I said, going heavier to get that um, bicep peak really going. Let's get it. For the second part of the workout, we're moving into triceps. On that second part, I like to mix up triceps and biceps, um, obviously to get a different pump. We're gonna do some rope pull down. Let's get it. Bicep workout number three, guys. We're gonna do the original barbell curls. Freaking classic, but they work. Let's get to it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rotate the wrist guys and do reverse barbell curls. Reason being is it really works in some of the forearm and this outside part of the bicep. On all of these exercises, I like to aim for three to four sets, and as said multiple times in the video, guys, set one is pretty light, set two is mid to heavy, set three is as heavy as possible for five plus reps. And if you want to do set four for your max, ain't nobody stopping you. But that's how I do it. That's how I really build up my arms and even my shoulders. So let's keep it going. Another workout for the triceps, guys. I'm gonna do overhead dumbbell press. So I like to just go right over just like this, as you're about to see. Press, and that's all it takes. Let's go. That is the arm workout for the part of the video. If you guys do want a full entire arm workout, let me know down below in the comments. But let's get back to the Q&A. Now that we're back at home, guys, amazing, amazing workout. Hopefully you guys did get something out of it. Like I said, that was just a shortened version of my regular arm days. If you wanna see a full on arm day, raw footage, comment down below. I will do one for you guys, just let me know. And another thing, I do apologize for the lighting in the first few um, gym clips. This is a new camera. I just bought a new camera, guys, FYI, and I'm really still figuring it out. So I kind of messed with it. That's why some of the clips like go from highlight, uh, from weird lighting to really good lighting. So again, I do apologize, but let's get back into the Q&A. We're gonna start off with a juicy question. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't really answer these questions, but sometimes they're pretty funny. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's go. The next question on the Q&A, why are you so hot? So, um, I don't know guys, you know, I just feel like if you take care of yourself, put on nice clothes, or not even nice clothes, just put on what you makes, you look good, you feel good guys, you know, shave your face, do your eyebrows, get a haircut, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do. So I do get that question a lot, and I mean, I guess that's why I'm so hot. I'm gonna keep that one nice and simple so we can move on, but uh, yeah. Next question. How do you start from the beginning to, uh, with fat and no muscle? 
So one way I think you can start for anybody, one big lesson I can say is you have to be patient with the gym, okay? Because like um, like you hear in every video, it's not overnight, because if it was overnight, everybody would be freaking jacked. So step one, be patient. Step two, start on a small diet, guys. A lot of people like to just jump the gun and um, eat, you know, they'll go from eating two meals a day to eating like seven or five, six meals a day. And I just think that's too much on some people. So start by eating, if you're eating one with two meals a day, start by eating three and then after a couple months, eat four. And if you're feeling yourself really goodly after a month or two months, eat five or six meals, you know, every day just to push your body to that next level. But like I said, the best thing you can do is be patient, have a pretty, have a pretty good diet, a lean bulk diet. So clean carbs, clean protein, and have your veggies. Try not to cheat too much, guys. And just be on a, work, a workout routine that I think really, really suits you guys. Um, so if your goal is to build your legs first or just build overall body, search up workout routines that will really benefit you um, in that area. So that's my answer to that question, how to start basically from step one. It's not very hard, but it is time consuming and you've got to be willing to be patient or just one word. On to the next question, baby. I really enjoy these kind of questions because you can, um, like, or I enjoy all of them, but these kind of questions, it's like you really do answer it. And, it, and to, uh, to a lot of people, it means a lot. And to some people, it means nothing. But the question, what drives you so dang hard in the gym? And the answer to that is pretty simple. I've answered it before. And it's just the ability to be different, the ability to push past your own limit. Um, I like to push past my limits every day, whether it's getting stronger or, uh, you know, adding more muscle to the frame. But that's just what it is. You know, I'm trying to be a champ. So that's a... Uh, that's what really pushes me hard in the gym, just being able to push past the limits that you've already set for yourself. Let me move to a new spot, guys, because I know just sitting in the same damn spot ain't the move sometimes. You want you want a new background, you know, and, and, I, and, I, and I get that, guys, so I'm gonna give you all a new background for the next question of the Q&A. Bam, I don't think it's gonna focus, but what kind of protein would you recommend for beginner looking for serious gains? This kind of relates to the beginner question, but a protein I really recommend is, guys, is lean whey protein. And you can literally get it at Target, Walmart, you know, uh, GNC, all those awesome places. So what I mean by lean whey protein, if you read the nutrition facts, it'll look just like that. So it'll be low in carbs and fat, but super high in protein. Because I said in previous video, guys, I like to put my own carbs. So I like to put my own oats or my own bananas into the protein shake just because I like to know where my carbs are coming from. But I highly suggest for beginners or even for intermediate and uh, like super advanced lifters, get you some lean whey protein, add your fats to it, add your um, carbs to it, and call it a day. New spot, just so I can keep it interesting. Next question, guys. What's the most challenging part of being a bodybuilder for you, aka me, specifically? I would just say the eating part, to be honest with you, because I mean, like anybody can go to the gym, but not everybody can uh, stay on a strict diet for super, super long because it really does get irritating. So the most challenging part for me is the food part, especially in prep, because it's like out of nowhere, you want everything you never really want. For example, like, uh, you know, sandwiches and all that, so cookies, Oreos, all those big things. You never really crave them when you're just chilling. But whenever you're in prep, boy, them things. But to answer your question, the eating parts, that one just really, it's like a make or break kind of situation. And that's what really makes a bodybuilder, I think. And um, I've done fairly well so far. We're just gonna keep it going. This is another funny one. How do you do your eyebrows? So I don't know if you guys can tell, and I did say in my last, uh, I think it's kind of focused. I did say in my last video about the like morning routine, get you a plucking little um, thing on Amazon. Just pluck away, kind of shape your eyebrows the way you want them, and they'll come out literally perfect. And a lot of people ask, is this like natural? No, bro. You know, razor it up, get it clean. Sometimes I let it grow, sometimes I let it, you know, I keep cutting it, but it is really what I'm feeling. To answer that question, yes, I do it myself. Just get you some pluckers and a nice uh, edging razor, and you should look <laughs> sexy. So guys, that is it for today's Q&A. Um, hopefully you guys, you did enjoy it. But um, I'm gonna be doing another Q&A soon with more personal questions. That's what Instagram really, whenever I post it on my Instagram, that's what y'all really asked me like the most. So I just went with the most and um, appropriate ones, obviously. So hopefully you guys really, really did enjoy that. And like I said, guys, if you wanna see any more full raw footage workouts, let me know in the comments down below. I do really interact with you guys and I love it when y'all interact with me. So I'd appreciate it guys if you could leave a comment. If you're new, subscribe. Other than that guys, I will see you in the next video.